found a lot of interesting things in the news and stuff, and I think useful like real estate information. And if it's uh, if some of you think you like it, um, comment below, give me a thumbs up, and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So in South Carolina, um, we see this often. Right, so HOAs are almost like the Wild West. Most of the HOA stuff in South Carolina with uh, laws and stuff were, was written back like in the 60s and 70s, and there hasn't been a lot of real updating for that stuff. So some of these HOAs have an insane amount of power over the homeowners that live in that community. And uh, this is something I seen in the news here today, and I thought that I would. Um, I thought that I would bring it to people's attention. Now, I know there's people out there searching for this information here. So HOAs can charge you a fee to leave the community. So we're down in Myrtle Beach, and I know that um, the community I live in, I want to say that I think the fee is $1,000. Um, this one they talked about, Baxter Village in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Um, they charged a the lady two months, or actually I think it was two years, but they charged her $1,712.50. It was double almost double her annual dues right so right now right now i know in the state house and stuff there's been um been a lot of talk about some hoa reform but i don't really think it's got anywhere i've kind of followed it some but i don't really feel like it's got anywhere there are some freedom of information act requests and things like that where they should have to support supply you with certain information however however guys be careful buying in some of these hoas because um depending on the bylaws those bylaws give these HOA homeowners associations a tremendous amount of power and sometimes there's stuff in them that, that you can't really do much about it like um we've got a community down at Polly's island where um where they did, they did some, they've done some really, really large assessments for beach renourishment, and some of the homeowners, some of the homeowners, depending on where your house was, uh, my understanding was some of those, some of those assessments were eighty thousand um, dollars. I've seen assessments in HOAs, condo communities, ten, twelve thousand dollars a unit, and especially with where we're at right now in our economy and where we're at in in the world just right now. Um, we're heading into a recession, so some of the first things some of these people are going to quit paying will be, it will be their HOA fees because there's a misunderstanding that a lot of people don't think that you can get foreclosed on for HOA fees, but the HOA can file a lien and foreclose on your house for non-HOA payment. So, um, so, and that's in the state of South Carolina. Now it might be different in other places. This article references North Carolina lawmakers, um, However, we're in South Carolina, but I thought that was an interesting article. I thought it's something that um, that people need to know about, and I thought that's something that um, you guys would find useful or, or actually just uh, informative. So have a great day, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.